Welcome to week nine, everyone. Today we're going to be learning about dotted quarter notes. So if you remember in the past, we learned about the rhythm tree. And as you can see here, a quarter note is made up of two eighth notes. And a dotted quarter note is made up of three eighth notes. Now, how do you clap that? So if you think about three eighth notes, we would clap one and two. A dotted quarter note would be one and two. It's the same as three eighth notes, you just hold it. One and two. You try it. Okay, let's try clapping this rhythm exercise together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Very nice. Once you get the hang of it, it almost feels like a dance or something. You know, it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Really feel that and because it's leading you into the next beat. So for our second warm up, I want you to play with your left hand. You're gonna find middle C with your thumb and you're gonna play the C below middle C with your pinky. And you're gonna play your normal C, D, E, F, G, but you're going to add the rest of the scale. So once you get to your thumb, you wanna cross over with your third finger. Okay, so try that. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, play that five times with the correct hand posture, curved fingers, and no sticky fingers. First thing that I want you to do for our new song today, Down the River, is to label all the notes. So pause the video and do that. So the letter names should look something like this. Check your answers. There are a lot of, what are these? Dotted eighth notes. One and two and three and four and 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 the rhythm in the top row is the same as the rhythm in the bottom row. They're pretty much just all dotted quarter notes and then an eighth note, that's repeating, repeating, repeating that pattern until where we have two half notes. F, we always play with which finger? Fourth finger, right? E with our third, D with our second, C with our thumb. You have F and C together, like at the end. You play it as a chord, the thumb and the fourth. This pretty much just goes down the river. So we go from F, down to E, down to C, and back up to D. We go up the river now to E, and then F. And then the second row, it gets a little bit more complicated. So remember last time we talked about our fourths? So that's C, D, E, F, right? like the chord we played at the end too. F, C, F, C. And then the next measure, we're gonna do a third. C, D, E, there's three of them. Okay, so we're gonna do E, C, E, C. And then we go from our third to our second. D, C, D, C. So they all follow that dotted quarter rhythm. And then we end with our fourth chord, the F, C, F, C. Okay, so let's actually try fingering this bottom row together. Start with your fourth finger. F, C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, C, D, C, F, C, F, C. All together from the beginning. One, two, ready, go. F, F, E, 
E, D, D, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, 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 C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, C, D, C, F, C, F, C. One, two, ready, go. F, F, E, E, D, D, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, 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 C, F, C, E, C, E, C, D, C, D, C, F.